Now here is something that you are never going to see on mainstream media. In Sri Lanka right now, the poor and the hungry are chasing down the rich in the streets of the country and beating the living sea out of them, following them home, taking their food, taking their cars, and taking everything that they have. You won't see this on Western media because they don't want that panic to start. And in fact, they don't want the contagious nature of this sort of mob mentality to spread to the United States of America. While the people in Sri Lanka are a few months behind those in America, we are going to suffer a similar fate here. Shalom, given all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, in peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. This is your brother Yerushalam, coming back at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. All right, and this video here that you see on the screen here from Full Spectrum Survival is just another illustration of the power of prophecy all right you know he's speaking about you know severe food shortages and what's happening all right and that the, and that the poor now is starting to run down the rich for their resources all right but you know what we, we told you this you know you know start with the apostles and the elders of the great millstone all right you know for years we've been telling that a second edge actually 15 chapter is going to come to pass all right you know now we're seeing this in certain parts of the world it's already happening you know, and as, as much as they could put it, like to keep it out of Babylon, it's going to reach the shores of Babylon, and it's going to be one, it's going to be worse, you know, in Babylon. You know, maybe not worse than some other parts of the world. All right? Now, this is second Ezra's. In fact, before I read this scripture, let me get one more scripture. Let's get, let's get a scripture about prophecy. All right? I see a... 46 Isaiah 46 and verse 9 it says remember the former things of old for I am Yahweh and there is none else I am Yahweh and there is none like me declaring the end from the beginning right so the Lord said this from before prophecy and from ancient times the things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. So the Lord is doing all his pleasure. You know, for those who don't believe in prophecy, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's still going to come to pass. So Romans 3 and, and, and 3, I believe it says, you know, so what if some didn't believe? You know? You know, hey, for those of you who don't who still don't believe after you've seen all these signs, you know, you're done for. Right? You're done for. You're finished. Right? That's Romans chapter 3. And um, on verse 3, it says, for what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the fate of Yahweh without effect? No, Yahweh forbid. Yea, let God be true, and every man, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So, you know, don't, 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 don't worry, you know, those who don't believe, right? The Lord say, the Lord say, the Lord say, um, don't, do fear not the imaginations against thee, and let not the incredulity of them trouble thee right so let's go to second Ezra chapter 15 now second Ezra 15 and verse 3 right in fact i read second Ezra 15 from verse 1 behold speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which i will put in thy mouth right say at the lord says lord put this word in our mouth okay and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true right as we see now it's coming to pass okay okay and we 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 men doing this work and we have we see the, we have the vision we can see that these things are true even before we saw it all right but most of the people in this place you know they lack faith most jake lack faith two-thirds to be to be precise okay so second is just 15 and 2 and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true fear not the imaginations again see right those who, who you know Basically, they're coming to determine to kill us. The Lord said, Don't fear them. All right. And let not the incredulity, which means unbelief, right? Let not the unbelief of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So the Lord is, 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 is finished with his place, man. 
you know, all the wickedness, you know, it, it, it exceedingly pollute the whole earth, you know. You know, and the Lord, Lord, you know, is tired of hearing the innocent crying out to him. Right? The men of the Lord sighing and crying in this place. Alright? You know, I'm going to hey, jump along to verse, to verse, um, second verse 50, 15, and, um, let me see, of Sarah verse 12. Alright? It says, Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the, the Heavenly Father shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn, right? For their seed shall fail through the blasting and the heel. So the Lord ain't going to lay it to go to home garden, right? In home garden going to fail, right? Well, once you're not in your Hashem, you shy, you have no hope, all right? So when this famine hits, that's your ass, okay? They that till the ground shall mourn for their seed shall fail through the blasting and the hail and with a fearful constellation. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, right? Woe destruction. For the sword and the destruction draw it nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. So this is what's starting here. It's beginning, right? When you have the poor running down the rich, right? Verse 16 says, For there shall be sedition among men, we have rebellion against the powers that be, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, right? They're politicians, right? The, 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 the rich men, all right? You're not going to regard them, right? They're running them down to take their resources, right? And the course of their action shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, because they're going to be checkpoints and roadblocks, military checkpoints, all right? For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, right? The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods and look at the reason why right because of the lack of bread which is what famine and for great tribulation so this is what the lord is doing the lord is doing a great work of prophecy fulfilling his prophecy all right the lord said his word gonna stand so you read in the book of isaiah the 46 chapter okay let's play a little bit more of this video here Street violence and protests are breaking out in Tajikistan over rising food prices and general inflation. This follows, of course, similar protests in Iran and Sri Lanka. The war right now is said to have made things worse. <clears throat> this is just the beginning. The Bank of England yesterday warned of apocalyptic global food shortages, with the governor of that bank warning that the organization is, quote, helpless in the face of surging food prices. There will be apocalyptic global food price increases and there is nothing we can do about it, warns the bank. Speaking of the nature of the uh, conditions, the governor stressed that the organization has run out of horsemen when counting the shocks that are facing the world. All right, and all that was orchestrated by these global elites, all right, put into place, all right, like you know, all these pl all these airplanes crashed into these these food factories and these store warehouses, you know, that's miraculously crashed into those things. Like if in a way you know, those guys, those pilots probably were very hungry. <laughs> Nonsense, all right. And then you know they they paying off these farmers to dump their crops two and three times the market value of the crops to dump it, all right. But really and truly, it's the Lord making them do that, all right? It's Isaiah chapter twenty four and verse ten. It says the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. There's a crying for wine in the streets. Wine is going into the truth. All joy is darkened. The mood of the land is gone. In the city is left desolation. The gate is smitten with destruction. So that's what's going to happen. Alright. When thus it shall be in the midst of the land among the people, there shall be as a shaking of an olive tree and as the gleaning of grapes when the vintage is done. Yeah, there ain't going to be nothing left. Okay, there ain't gonna be nothing left. Alright. You know, because wisdom and knowledge is stability of the time of the times. Alright, they they're gonna be looking for this truth. They're gonna know wanna know what's going on. You know, when the men of the Lord they're gonna be hidden in that time. So so there's gonna be a, a, a two famines. Famine or famine, real famine, physical famine of food and, and, and drought. Alright? You know, lack of lack of drink of water. And this one is also gonna be a spiritual famine. Family of the word, this word, this truth. Okay? So this place is done. Alright? 
And the Lord told us to do what? Second address 9. Uh, and one he said, He answered me and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the earth which he made. And we see these signs now. Okay? So we close to the end. Second address 9 and 3 says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, right? So we see the uproars of the people right now. Because they're hungry and they can't get food to eat. There's a major shortage of baby food as well, baby milk formula. Alright? You know, so it's gonna be mass uproars. Okay? Verse 4 says, Then thou shalt well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Alright, so that's prophecy. Everything's been everything is being revealed. Everything is being revealed. All right, and those who don't seek you, Abashim, you are shy. You know the scripture said, you know, turn unto the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly, suddenly shall the um the wrath of the Lord come forth. You know it's roughly paraphrasing. So hey, turn unto the Lord, or else your ass is grass. This is um Jeremiah chapter fifteen. All right, let me see if I have this here. Jeremiah chapter fifteen and verse verse one. In fact, let me read Jeremiah sixteen. Okay, and um, verse, verse, um, verse 3 it says, For thus saith Yahweh, concerning the sons and the daughters that are born in this place, right, Jake, and concerning their mothers that bear them, and concerning their fathers that begot them in this land, they shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented. Nobody ain't going to lament you. Neither shall they be buried. They're going to be outside on the street. Your corpse is going to be rotten for the, you know, in the open air. Right, the birds of the air are gonna feast upon your flesh. Okay? But they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by the famine. Okay? Sword and the famine. And their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of the heaven and for the beasts of the earth. Alright, so the Lord is the Lord, this is what the Lord is gonna do. Alright? You know? The Lord said it, you know. At the beginning, from the beginning of time, you know, and this is what he's going to bring it to pass. All right, you know, so you best get yourself right in this time. All right, or else you know, hey, you, you're done. You're done. Okay, you're finished. Okay, and for those who who are uh, who um, you know, who took that 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 jump shot. You know, you know, things ain't gonna be looking up for you at all. Right? Things ain't gonna be looking up for you. You know? But that thing, you know, is changing you. You know, it's E to the N to the A. You know, so that you wouldn't even be able to eat, you know, um normal food. Okay? So you're gonna be in dire straits. You're gonna be sick. Okay? It says Ecclesiasticus chapter 39 and verse, verse 28 There be spirits that are created for vengeance which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. And these are the spirits here. Fire and hail and famine. So famine is a spirit. Right? And death. All these were created for vengeance. Alright? Verse 31 says they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is and need is now the lord have a need of it now famine is now all right and when their time is come they shall not transgress his words wait this is this is a uh, this is um this was written all right you know this was written so let's get yourself right you know let's get yourself right all right i pray this lesson was edifying i want to give all praises on and glory Unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, my teachers. Right? Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Wa Abad Babal, destruction unto Babylon. Shalom.